So Kevin, a frustrating day today? Very. Um, I just don't think we've turned up, Ben, you know. We've had a tough start to the season, you know, and nobody would deny that, and everybody took the plaudits. Um, but today, you know, I just felt we were very passive in the opening stages of the game. Um, sometimes you need an event, sometimes you need one ahead or a tackle, you know, just to get that blood pumping. But it just looked like, you know, um, when, when Kelty had the ball, we, were, we dropped off and we were very, very passive. And it certainly, no, wasn't the, wasn't the game plan. But, you know, again, you know, that... Um, transfer information for the coaches to the players obviously wasn't right you know and we'll look at ourselves but the players have got to start taking responsibility there as well um, just I'm, I'm really disappointed for the players because I don't think they gave a, a performance which is true to what they can do so I, I feel for them I've been involved in football a long time days like this can happen um, Kelty are strong they've recruited strong um, and, and you know I just felt today too many of our players were, were below their best the chances were just a bit memorable today because of how well Kelty were at the back. We just couldn't really break them down, could we? I thought we got any good areas, particularly in the first half. You know, I thought we got into some really good areas. Nathan was doing well. I thought Dale got into some good areas down the, down the flanks, but that final ball was kind of missing a wee bit. Um, but you know, when, when all said and done, you know, we were just second best today. Um, no, no, by I wouldn't say we were second best by huge, huge margins. You know, um, but we've got to be honest. You know, that, that wasn't good enough. It wasn't good enough for, for where we want to be and what we want to do. And, and as I say, that was a long way away for Peterhead here and Burness away. You know, but you've you've got to be able to repeat the performances. That's that's the sign of a good team, you know, and if you're not quite on it, you've got to be able to stop the other team. And we failed at that today. You know, the, as I say, there was just a couple of just off it a wee bit and, and good teams will expose that. And I think that's what Kelty done, you know. Um, I've played with Joe Cardo. He's a good quality player. Showed great composure and quality, scored a goal. First goal for me, set play, it's disappointing. You know, it's always disappointing. We've, we've not been susceptible to that kind of thing for a long time. Um, the second goal for me is, you can probably see it, it, it's a sore one for me to take. And, and when you pause it, you know, when he plays the ball, we're in a good position. We're certainly in a, a position where we can deal with it, we don't. Um, and, and our quality players is punished us, but to lose two goals in that sort of two, three minute spell, just really, really took the wind out as a wee bit. And then the third goal for me again, a really unnecessary free kick in the edge of your area. But kudos to, to Higginbottom who, who shows quality there to, to guide it into the corner. Um, back to the drawing board, you know, and just in terms of today, you know, we need to find a way to be better against County the next time. But we've got a, a game next week, we're away from home, we're on the road again, and we've got a good opportunity to get down there and, and give a better account of ourselves. And that, that's important for me, you know, I've got to see on Tuesday that these players are hungry to, to sort of come back and bounce back. Um, it's two games in. I'm no panicking, you know, I'm no in there reading riot acts and panicking, I'm, I'm upset, the players know I'm upset um, and there will be changes next week, you know, and of that there's no doubt, I'm, I'm not going to wait and people getting fit um, because football is a fickle world, you know, um, and people quickly turn on you, so, you know, we, we need to be fit, we need to be able and ready to run about a part to play. Um, and I think some of these are below that at the minute, whether it be circumstantial due to injuries and COVID and stuff. Um, we've had some disruptions this week, but absolutely no excuse. As I say, for me on the day, Kelty were slightly better than us and deserved the win. And you mentioned briefly Nathan Flanagan uh, out on the wide, uh, wide wing. He just loves running at defenders and it's it, it's so good to see you to generate chances and even he had the shot in the first half as well. I, listen, Nathan's an exciting player. He's always going to be pleasing the eye. He's so positive. Um, he got a wee bit frustrated in the second half, you know, the way the game was going, but he kept on going. Um, but, you know, it's not just Nathan. We had players there that kept on going, kept on putting their bodies in line. As I say, in amongst the disappointment um, of some performances and the team's overall performance in my own, there's pleasing aspects as well, you know, but it's time to man up at this football club. It's time for these players to go and put their mark on their number on their strip and keep themselves in there um, because I'll keep changing it till I get the balance till I get the right team um, we've been very very good very good up to this point um, but this is a you know it's, it's a it's a blow but it's no it's not the end of the world you yep. know <laughs> we'll pick these players up that's for sure and we'll be ready for next week I'm, I'm, I can guarantee that and Mark Laird limped off injured is uh, any update on him? it doesn't look great initially looks like a hamstring uh, I don't know, I, I think he overstretched for a, an event, I missed the, a, the actual event, I don't know if he was um, trying to put a tackle on or something, but he's, he certainly felt something just tug a wee bit there, so, you know, that's it's no ideal, it's not great, um, but, again, you know, we, we can, we've can we got decent depth there and, you know, we'll get in against a, an Annan side who's coming off, obviously, 
the back here, a very big win for them and a, a very good one for them today. But aye, you know, we, we could be level with Kelty next week. You know, we could be level with Forth next week. Um, that's that's how early we're into the season. So, as I say, we've just, although real disappointment. And although I'm saying no panic doesn't mean I'm being negligent or naive here. We need to bounce back. You know, we need to get our stuff back on the tracks and, and, and announce ourselves back into the, the sort of the race in terms of winning games in this early stage of the season. Thanks very much, Kevin. Thanks, Ben. All the best.